guys, it's Darlene with Chalk Couture. Thank you for joining me. This morning I'm going to work on this project, Kitchen Measurement Conversions. This is a great chart to have in a kitchen. You could put this on a on the inside of a cabinet door if you do a lot of baking, or you could put this on a sign and hang it on your wall, and that's what we're going to do this morning. So this is a brand new transfer. So I'm gonna mark the back of it with an X so I know not to put the transfer back onto this. Our transfers are reusable. So when you're done, you're gonna wash it and then you're gonna put it back onto the backer sheet. So you can pretty much use them. Well, gosh, okay. So <laughs> this is what Chocotour says. They say anywhere from eight to 12 times. These are reusable and but I have used mine more than that. Some of them 20 times. So I'm opening my my wax. Should have done that before. So let me grab a screwdriver and do that. This is the wax. I'm going to wax this board because it's a non chalk couture surface. This is from Michaels. And I'm going to wax it so that my transfer doesn't stick. This is the type of wax that I like to get. It's from Home Depot. You're just going to spread some onto your surface. It's going to spread all around. And then take a paper towel and you're going to wipe off the excess. So you're just putting a thin layer that will be in between your transfer and your surface so that so that you're transfer doesn't stick, especially since it's a brand new transfer. Okay, that should be good. Let me move this chalk paste out of the way. I'm going to be using three colors on this. It's a real basic sign. So this is Storm, and this is our Super Stash. This is Couture Teal. I love this color. It's one of the most popular colors right now. And then this is Bright White. And these are our chalk paste. So it's chalk paste, not paint. A lot of people say, oh, chalk paint. No, it's chalk paste. It is different and it dries very quickly. So this is a new transfer. So we're gonna fuzz this. And the first thing that I like to do is I like to fold my corners under. It just makes it easier to peel it from your surface. Well, it'll also make it easier next time to remove from your backer sheet. And you want to get your corners going and then you want to pull from the center. You do not want to pull diagonal and stretch your transfer. This is a large transfer, so I'm going to fuzz this half it half at one time and then the other half. Just lay it down onto my towel and then I can peel my towel or my, whichever works easier for you, peel it from my towel just like that. It just gets a little bit of fuzzy onto it. And I'm going to lay that back down and then I'm going to do the other half. And this is just easier to work with this rather than grabbing the whole thing and having it stick to itself, which can happen. If it sticks to itself, it can get ruined, but don't panic. I did have a large transfer stick to itself. The suggested thing is to immediately get it into cold water and then begin to gently pull it apart. And it actually was fine. I salvaged my transfer. So, that's just what we're careful about. We want to make sure that we're not sticking it to itself. It is sticky. It is sticking to my hand. All right, so then you're going to peel your backer sheet off all the way. Easy way to do is to flip that over and then peel the backer sheet off just like that and set that to the side. Okay, and then just take it by the two corners and lay it on here. And I'm going to, I'm going to just work with this and get it even as much as possible. 
and it's a little bit larger than the width is the width is a little bit larger than my my um trans or my i'm sorry my transfer is a little bit wider than my my surface so i'm just trying to see that looks it looks pretty good you want to make sure that you don't have bubbles in there so you can peel it up and then smooth that out again if there's bubbles in the blue area that's okay you do not want bubbles in the screen print area okay so i have damp paper towels here you see we use that method before we're going to chalk this and then i'm going to put paper towels on it to keep the moisture in so my lettering is going to all be in white the line is going to be couture teal and then my little measuring spoons and measuring cup and and the gallon container that's going to be in storm so i have three colors here and you want this to be the consistency of sour cream or yogurt and we're going to spread this with a squeegee there's different sizes of squeegees now there's a really large one a handled one so if you had a great big huge area you could use that and then there's our smaller ones and then there's minis and then there's a the multi-tool so we have several sizes so pick the one that works best for what you're doing and even if you are using several different ones for the same color that's okay if it's easier for you that's fine there's not that much cleanup at the end you're just going to smooth it on and put the excess back into the jar and then I'm going to lay a paper towel over that to just keep the moisture in. Okay. Just pat it gently. I'm going to do I'm going to do this line and and then um, then I'll do the words. I'm just going to work down. I find that's best. I don't rush it. You just want to make sure that you are going quick enough that your chalk paste does not dry in the transfer smooth it out and put the excess in there and then i have another little multi-tool that i'm going to use for for my utensils here for my little not, well my measuring my measuring devices <laughs> my teaspoons not utensils sorry it is early forgive me okay so some of these areas here the white is smaller so I'm going to use our mini it's going to be easier for me and I'm all for easy I don't care about the cleanup the cleanups easy this is water soluble you're gonna soak your transfer in a water bath when it's done you're gonna put your tools in a water bath and they're gonna wash up very nicely our transfers this is the process for washing. So I have a container that is shallow but long, so a big rectangular container full of water. And when I'm done with this transfer, it's going to go into that and it's gonna, gonna soak for a few minutes while I'm cleaning up other stuff. I'm gonna go over to that container and I'm gonna swish it around and get, the, get as much off of the transfer as possible as much of the chalk paste <clears throat> off of the transfer as possible and then I'm going to pull it from the water and I'm going to lay it down onto a flat surface and I am going to take a Clorox wipe and wipe the front side of it and then I am going to dry that front side with a paper towel just patting it then I'm going to flip it over I'm going to wipe the back side with a Clorox wipe and then I'm going to let it dry on a paper towel with the sticky side up and depends on where you're at how long it takes to dry once it's dry you're going to put that back onto your backer sheet and you're going to put it back into the little plastic 
container, plastic holder that it came in. And that's it, it's that simple. So it really is not difficult to take care of these and make them last. They're made to use again and again. It's, it's an investment. So you could use these to make signs for a craft show. You could use these for gifts. You could have your girlfriends over, have a little morning coffee and make a few signs. You could have a wine and sip, have them over and in the evening and serve hors d'oeuvres and some wine. There's a lot of possibilities with these. So not everybody goes into Chalk Couture and makes it a business. Some people simply get into it because they want to make the product, they want to make stuff for their house, for gifts, and that's that's perfectly fine. Chalk Couture doesn't care. They don't force you to make this into a business. That's the great thing about them. Another great thing is once you sign up to become a designer, you get 40% off. And that's pretty awesome because 40% off is a lot compared to most places. Well, you know, Michaels gives you a 40% off coupon. So think of it like that. Once you sign up, you get that coupon. You get that every day on, on every item. And the other thing that you can do is you can earn designer dollars. So for every $200 that you purchase, you get $20 in designer dollars. So you get additional money back and that comes to you the next month. So on the 15th of each month, you are paid your commission if you earn some from selling or people underneath you. And you also receive your designer dollars. So that's that's how that works. I'm gonna go ahead and do all this down here. I'm gonna put my paper towel on to keep this moist. Just wanna keep that area moist so that the chalk paste doesn't dry on the transfer. You want it to stay on your board, on your surface. All right, you know, I think I'm going to, this would be kind of cool to do this part gray. This is a storm. It basically is a gray storm, like stormy clouds. That's what I think of that it's a storm outside. So the clouds turn gray or black. We've been having a lot of rainy weather and I'm kind of done with that. I am ready for a real spring and not the kind that April showers bring May flowers. I am ready for spring, just nice weather. Okay, so I have that. Now I'm just gonna do the rest of my words here and then I will hydrate all of this with my paper towels. So other ways that you make money with Chalk Couture when you're a designer is that you can send people to your website. They give you a website, you choose a name, like mine is Chalkin' with Dar. And so people can go to my website and purchase and then I would receive 25% of that in a commission. If you were to purchase the items at 40% off, and then sell them that way, you would make 40%. So if you bought something for, for $10 and you sold it at a craft show, your profit would be $2.50 on, oh, sorry, I'm doing 25%. Your profit, it is early. Your profit would be the 40%. So you would make $8 if it was $20, you would make $4 if it was a $10 item. So as you can see, it can add up. If they go to your website, then you're making 25%, and that's fine too, because you're not dealing with shipping. Chalk Couture would be dealing with all of that. Your customer would be paying for shipping. So there's, there's many ways. You could set up um, wine and sips and charge 
people to come to those. There, there's many, many different ways to make money with this product or just enjoy it yourself. You don't have to, that's the great thing. You are not forced to do that. Your kit is $99. And, you, and it's valued at $240. So, and right now I actually have a special going on where I give you some other freebies. If you're interested, that's only going on for a couple more days. You can leave me a message below. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pull this. And I'm gonna check it as I go. Make sure that everything looks okay. And the letters are supposed to be like that. They do have kind of a rustic look. Everything's looking good. Yay. Pulling a big transfer can um, be a little more difficult. It really would be great to have another person here. I'm just going to adjust my hand and I'm going to pull back. Okay, and I can see that there's little dots there that I'm going to go back and I'm going to fix, which is easy. But this transfer is going to go into a water bath right now. Okay, so you immediately want to get that into the water so that it will not dry on the transfer. Oh, I really like that. I like the basic colors. I think that looks really great like that. So I see a dot right here, and I'm a little bit picky about that. So I'm gonna take my stylus, and I'm just going to put, fix these little dots, okay. And I see right here, now I know, I know that this blue on the cup area, that is actually from the transfer, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna just pounce on just a little bit of white chalk paste while this is wet. And other than that, I think it looks perfect. And I will dry this, then I will seal this with clear sealer. I like to use a Rust-Oleum. Let me grab that and show you. Okay, this is what I like to use. This is a Rust-Oleum matte clear sealer. And I do three coats. So I will spray it and then I'll wait 30 minutes. I'll spray it again, wait 30 minutes and spray it again. So that will make it so it's permanent and it won't come off. But, and I might put some flowers or something up there later, but I, th I think it looks fine the way it is. I can see that it's not quite even, but I'm okay with that. I. This is your project. And I know that we're all critical with ourselves over these things, but somebody's going to love this. Someone's gonna buy this at my craft show and they're gonna think it's amazing because the product is amazing. And I still, every time that I pull the transfer, I'm still in awe. It, it's still new to me, I love it. So, hey guys, thank you for joining me. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch this. If you have any questions, let me know and I will be talking to you again soon.